since we went to the synthetic turf for the main stadium was so we could use it on other for other kinds of events. Eventually, we'll have lights there. We could do concerts there and the like. And early on, we had some conversations with the organizers of the shrine event, the high school shrine uh, all-star event. Um, and we will have to renew those discussions if they want to bring the shrine game to uh, Charlotte. This is, this is kind of a combination question from both Joey and Kyle on the live chat at charlotte49ers.com. It asks, uh, you have mentioned capital donors earlier. Uh, have there been discussions with potential donors on naming rights, and how have those discussions gone? Uh, we have proposals in front of uh, several groups or individuals uh, right now. Uh, and um, I, I can tell you that they are very interested. Uh, it's kind of hard to go beyond that because that's so confidential at this point. We can't really go into it. But uh, there is interest, and uh, we're very pleased with the fact that folks are interested, and we think it is a great opportunity for folks to get uh, increased visibility. You talked about um – I'm basically, uh, the red redshirt freshman coming in. Um, where is uh, transfer athletes coming into that equation? We're going to allow the coach to deal with the number of transfers he wants versus the number of of freshman redshirt student athletes. And generally, in that first year, they're probably not going to take more than. Uh, 18 or so because you've got to be real careful because with a startup program you don't want to have all your players brought in in the first two years then you're starting all over again it's got to be spread out over so there'll be a number of walk-ons included as well but I'm sure there will be tremendous in interest and we already are getting some right now from people that want to transfer uh, in here so it'll be a combination when I say red shirt class there will also be in I don't know that we'd get anybody transfer in here until 2013 uh, because because they're going to want to compete pretty rapidly. Uh, has there been any interest from FBS schools of playing us at Bank of America Stadium? And can you elaborate a bit more on your discussions with the Colonial Athletic Association? We've had interest uh, from folks wanting to play us, but nobody has mentioned from the uh, FBS level playing us in Bank of America Stadium. Uh, and, and you need to be aware. Um, most of the folks that are going to play us that are FBS will not come to Charlotte, whether we play them in Bank of America Stadium or not. They're going to pay us dearly to come to them, uh, but they don't, they don't have any intention of really coming to Charlotte uh, in this early part. And, and I really can't elaborate any more uh, on the Colonial except to say that, that we, we've had several uh, discussions with them. The Colonial Athletic Association is two groups. It's the Colonial Conference, as you know, that one for all sports, and then there's an LLC for uh, the Colonial Conference that has their existing members that have football and other members uh, for like an associate type membership, uh, and that's the one that we'd be talking about. I should mention Danny Morrison of the Panthers made a point of coming to campus to see me and extend every uh, offer of assistance that they could uh, lend to us, including the possibility that at some point down the road, if we had a big game, uh, which would draw a local audience, that we would be welcome in, in the Bank of America Stadium. So if East Carolina or, or uh, Chapel Hill or any of those programs or the Panthers themselves, we could have an opportunity. <laughs> How many scholarships total will be offered uh, through the school? How many are you considering giving out the first season? And what are the academic standards for incoming football players? Well, we can offer 63 scholarships, but you can't offer them all in that first year. Uh, again, I, the, the number that we can offer in the first year... His member is 30 in the first year, but again, I, I can't imagine a coach coming in here and offering 30 in that first year. It just doesn't make sense when you're looking at the, at the four-year period there. And um, what was the second part of your question? Was Academic eligibility. It will be the same as what we've dealt with with all of our, our sports right now uh, is, is what we're looking at. Now this question comes from Matt. He's wondering, has consideration of light rail been taken into account with, uh, in terms of public transportation? Yes, actually, uh, one of the reasons for citing the stadium where we did in the final analysis was because uh, the negotiations we've had with CATS, which is the local area transportation authority, uh, allowed us to have a light rail as in a relatively close proximity to the uh, stadium. 
light rail will come up Highway 29, which is North Tryon Street. Uh, it will stop once at J.W. Clay Boulevard, which is right near the hospital. It will then come up past our two buildings, uh, or the bioinformatics building that is currently located on, JW, uh, on uh, Tryon. It will make a right turn onto campus and come over and stop uh, right next to Laurel Hall, which is part of the Laurel Lynch complex. Uh, and the other building that's being built there right now, Phase 9 and eventually Phase 10. Uh, from that point, people would be able to walk to the stadium quite easily or to a tailgating area. Uh, it's also looking like uh, the University of North Carolina at Charlotte will be the terminal stop for the light rail line. And so we have been negotiating with CATS over how to make that happen. Uh, but basically, the trains will turn around on campus and then head back downtown and into the south area. So this will be great in terms of relieving some of the parking congestion, at least starting in about 2016, which is when they think would be the first opportunity to run light rail uh, onto campus if they can get everything lined up from a financing perspective. So we're looking forward to that. And I think for a lot of fans who otherwise would be concerned about trying to negotiate 77 and 85, uh, or 485, they could come here on light rail, and, and that's, all been, that's all been factored in. Uh, and, and anybody we can get to come uh, some other way other than in, a, in an automobile, we will be in, in favor of. Tell, tell them a new name for it, the green one. Well, we've, talk, <laughs> we've talked, as many of you know, about uh, the, the, the line that they have now is called the blue line, and uh, it is the one that runs from the south area all the way up to downtown. We, we've been making an argument for many years since I've been here that from downtown up to here uh, ought to be called the Green Line. Uh, but <clears throat> I'll, uh, I'll tell you, frankly, I don't care what color it is. I just want to get it done. And the good news is that the uh, other end of the rail uh, downtown will be at 9th Street, which is where our new Center City building is. So there will be a stop at 9th, and then they'll come on up uh, North Tryon all the way to the campus. So it's going to have academic and non-academic uh, advantages for us. So whenever you see Carolyn Flowers or any me member of the Metropolitan Transit Authority, you say, you go, guy or girl. As a uh, FSL purchaser or purchaser, Thank you. <laughs> um, when will we be able to start looking at schematics for the seating, and what will be the process for picking our seats? Or will that be chosen for us? Um, Mike, you want to give some input? The stadium's got to be built first because a question was asked earlier, how many seats? It's approximately 15,300. Uh, we're using 15,000, but it's, we think it's going to be about 15,300. But that may be tweaked a little bit until they actually come in here after the bowl is dug out and all the concrete's poured and they have to do the part of putting the seats in. We don't know exactly the number, but there will be a time when folks do get to come in and select their seats. We'll have that process just like we did in Halton Arena. Spring of 2013. And thank you again for purchasing. And you can always get a better seat if you would think about an additional contribution. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, he's not, ki he's not kidding. <laughs> yeah, you can. <laughs> Well, again, thank you very much for your interest and your support, and uh, uh, we're all excited about 2013. Thank you very much.